Hey guys, another video. Uh, this video today uh, is going to be on. Uh, we're going to work on a 2011 BMW X1 with the 2.0 diesel engine. Uh, that's not really important for what this problem is about, but uh, just, just a bit of info. So the car came to me because uh, I'm going to go there. So the ignition is on, as you can see. Okay, and uh, basically uh, reverse is engaged and if I press the parking system as you can see nothing happens okay nothing absolutely nothing and uh, another thing as well is I've done an auto scan but just now but what I'm going to show you here as well is uh, that uh, PDC decent control comes up with that no communication okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the actually module and start to run some tests so you see what I'm gonna find but we are now on a boot the PDC I believe it's going to be underneath here. There it is. That's the module. And wow, look. Can you see all this water? I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's full of water right at the bottom. I hope you can see it. So that's, that's no good. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open, take this off, and take it to the bench. See what we can do. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is obviously open uh, this, so we can remove the PCB to uh, inspect. Ooh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So we open these tabs here. Ho hopefully you can see this. Alrighty, it's not looking good at all. Uh, so now we're gonna. Press these little tabs on the side over here, so we start to slide in to slide the PCB out of the case. Wow, it's not looking good at all. Okay, so try to bring it close to the camera. Hopefully, you can see the damage. Okay, now I'm <laughs> Just right at the bottom, to be honest, but I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, I don't have a clue if I'm gonna be able to recover these or not. So, gonna do a little bit of a live, uh, of a live, not live, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, fixing and recording at the same time. See how bad this is. So let's gonna. So we, uh, am I gonna make this video a little bit long? Oh, there's water everywhere. Do this. Sorry, guys. I tend to do my videos a little bit focused more on the important things. Uh, am I gonna do a slightly different video this time? I really hope you guys don't mind that. We'll clean the box later on when we are happy <laughs> with the more important first. Uh, right, it's gonna start cleaning this. Oh, 
I have some doubts that I'm going to be able to repair this, to be honest with you. Because... Wow. I'm going to show you in a minute why, but... I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but... Uh, that second leg on this chip, right at the tip of the... Right there. That's gone. Now, what I need to make sure first is that leg was actually in use. Yeah, he was. Unfortunately, he was in use. And wow. Right. I don't have a clue yet how I'm gonna do this. But we got flex so we can start to work on this. On this. Have to use the solder iron to do this. Right guys, um, I'm afraid I have to pause the video because I've run out of battery on my uh, altimeter and whatever. But uh, I kind of did a little bit of the job, so basically what I've done is, I've, uh, obviously as you saw, I, I put some flux. Um, I've kind of uh, reflow all this area here that was uh, kind of in the water. Now everything else seems to be roughly okay. Only this I see here. I'm gonna try to pull it a little bit close to you, and I think I've showed you, showed it before. Whoops! I've showed it before, but I'm gonna show you again. So basically, this chip here, this I see, the first two legs or three legs, uh, they were really in poor state. Where the actually second one is completely gone. So the first one is not used, it is not gonna kind of go anywhere in contact, so I ignore that one. That one obviously I've resolded that one, which is making contact, I've checked already. And the second one, the leg was completely gone. So what I had to do is uh, wear a little bit around the pin over here, on actually IC, and then solder this wire back to uh, where it goes, okay? So uh, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is, before I put anything back on, I'm going to test it. Uh, if it's working, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just melt some plastic around here. So make sure that doesn't move from where it is. And uh, that's it. Let's going to try see what happens now. If 
piece has been recovered or if he actually needs to be replaced. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug all these back on. Careful not to touch the wire. Back on. Just going to put the camera back here. here and let's gonna try oops left the key back there and let's gonna put the key on ignition on Ignition on, that's it. Now let's gonna try to scan the PDC again. And voila! Working! Wow! I don't wanna ask you to print. I mean, I kinda did. Uh, sorry guys, so all the faults in here, as you can see. Now, ideally, I would replace that that uh, high C, but uh, it's gonna okay, okay. Live data. Let's have a quick look. Reverse key is not selected, obviously, but they all seem. Be working fine. That's it.